hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have, um, it's kind of like a yearly video that I've been doing the past couple of years, but basically it is about my new planner. So I get one of these every single year. Um, they are so essential to uni life. I, it's mental. In fact, just my life in general at this point, I've used it so much that I think I would not be able to work properly without my planner anymore. I just have such a terrible memory for things. So yeah, I always need something to write it in, but I have a new one. So like I said, I've done these for the past couple of years. So you can go back and see what the other ones have looked like. So the brand that I use is called Personal Planner. Um, I'll link it in the description. It's amazing brand. You completely decide it yourself, the size, the front cover, what it looks like on the inside, like the layout, the design on the inside, the extra pages that you get with it, literally everything you can decide yourself. Um, so I have created a new one. It's very different from the ones I have before. It's a lot more minimal. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So this is what it comes like. It comes in a green parcel bag, but I don't have that with me because that's been reused and sent off already. But yeah, so you take it out and this is what it looks like. You've got all the extra little bits that you get in the front. This is how big it is. I always get the A5 and generally that costs £23.90. Um, however, once you buy one of their planners, they give you a discount for the next time you buy one. Um, there's also like a friend's discount in there as well, which I'll leave in the description if anyone wants to use it. But yeah, so you get like a pound or so off it, I think, um, which is handy. It's nice that every time you go back to them, they give you a bit of a discount, which is lovely. So take all of these things out. So I'll show you these first. Oh, oh that's really cute. This is not something I've seen before but it's just a little, thank you for your order, have a wonderful day, Lisa, which is very cute. And then on the back it's just um, how to win a couple of stuff if you post about it, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so the extra bits that you get with it, you get this little insert folder, which is so handy, I just, I always keep it at the front of the diary, um, and I mostly keep the, the stickers that you'll see in a second in it, and then just any little piece. Generally, I also keep the discount code in it so that when it comes to next year, I always know what it's going to be. But yeah, you just slip it in at the side and then it's just a simple folder. You also get a piece of string that you attach to the diary um, and you choose the color of this. So I've gone with just a simple white one this time. Um, because it matches the diary that you will see in a second. Um, yeah, just very simple. You also get to choose the colour of the ruler that comes with it. So there's always a ruler, it clips in. I always use this as a bookmark. I don't think I've ever actually used it as a ruler. Um, but yeah, so I actually put it upside down. Um, there's a little like extra bit at the top, or at the bottom, technically, um, and I always, put that at the top so that I can quickly find what week I'm on. Um, very, very handy. I just smacked myself in the face. <laughs> very, very handy. I've gone with the light pink this time. Again, you'll see why once you see the diary, but you get this, this in all of them um, and you choose the colour. And I thought pink was a very nice one for this one. Okay, and the last thing that you get is this full sheet of stickers. I've never fully used a sheet of these, so I've still got some from the first diary that I had. But they are handy, I use them every so often. They've got lots of different things, so fold it up and show you. So they've got these simple little like flags and to-dos and all of that here. And little weird like, I don't know what to call these, like film strips, that's it. Then they've also got like hearts and stars and these just little strips. And then it's the same thing on the other side, just different colors. And then you've got emojis here. And then like other little emojis, just not faces. 
and then you've got like happy birthday and all of that here, little flags, and on this side, oh not this side, here, <laughs> you've got little teeny little stickers that have just little sayings on it. So some say, I look great, I can do it, I need a walk, workout, remember, coffee o'clock, fry a, smile, make a cake, I'll do my best, be kind, sing, lots of little sayings like that. Um, those I actually use the most, funnily enough, and the little picture stickers, so like the, the flight one, all of those, I tend to use those quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it's a really handy way to customise as you're going through the year. Um, yeah, it's quite cute. Right, on to the actual diary. So, I have gone for a very minimalistic uh, diary this year. It's a collaboration they're doing at the moment with an artist. I will look up who the artist is. Yeah, okay, so the artist is Magdala Tyboni. Put the name up here. Um, Art Studio. So it says, our 2019-2020 design edition is a monochrome collection of elegant pictures by artist Magdalena Tyboni. Her pictures are full of life and emotion. They whisper softly and scream loudly without the need for any more colour. And then it says, drawing and painting have always been a natural part of Magdalena's life. Through the challenges of everyday life, in connection with other people and in her own family, she finds inspiration to create her signature monochrome work. In 2014, she began selling her drawings as posters, which quickly became popular. Today, Magdalena is living her dream, selling prints as well as painted originals, and has her own studio and interior design boutique in the north of Sweden. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like a, a Swedish brand or something like that. It's a European brand anyway. Um, and it's free shipping worldwide and all of that. But it comes up with this little description about her and a little picture, which is nice. Um, but yeah, her designs are beautiful. I'll show you the one that I chose and then I'll show you, um, I'll put on the screen the other designs that they have available of hers. But I went for this beautiful, very simplistic little picture of a woman in a dress. Um, and it reminded me a lot of a ballerina, which is kind of why I went for it, is for like the, the dancer side of me. Um, and yeah, I just, I really loved, I'll open it up so the actual page you can see it a little better. Um, I just really love the simplistic of it, uh, or simplicity, simplicity, why was that a hard word, of it. Um, and yeah, like I said, it reminded me a lot of like a ballerina and I just love that. Um, and I love the, the dress and the fact it's all black and white and just very, very simple. I just love it, which is why obviously I went for the white little um, elastic on it, which I'll show you in a little bit, but it goes through these holes at the back and goes over the front. And then this goes really well with the inside that I chose. So you, on the very first page, as you open it up, you can stylize it um, in case it gets lost or anything. And just at the bottom that I'm covering up are my details. I always go for the same layout in my diaries. Do -do -do for all of the years I I just have done. So the colour scheme I've gone for is this cute, don't focus on my face, <laughs> is this cute pink um, uh, detail on the top with like palm trees black and white, which I thought went very nicely with the front being black and white. Um, and basically what I always go for is I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and that layout because it gives me the most space to write um, all of the things I'll be doing each day and I always have it lined. You can have it unlined or anything like that uh, but I always go lined and then at the, the very bottom of the page you can completely stylize it yourself so it always comes with this little month um, section here and then you've got three sections technically so for these two sides, I just went lined because every time I choose something for the bottom of here, I never use it. Um, and then on this here little part, I chose something that they're only doing new this year. At least I've only seen it this year. I haven't seen it the other years. And it's a different quote every week, which I thought was really, really cool. I 
don't know if this has already started yet actually. Um, the other thing with this is that you can choose the start date. I actually completely forgot to do that when I was doing this one, but it's a full year anyway so it doesn't matter too much. Um, but yeah, I'd actually completely forgotten to choose the start date so it just started once I'd ordered it basically like a, a week or so after. Um, so it's the 29th at the moment. So I'm at the end of this, the first week actually that it, it starts on. Um, and the quote that it has at the bottom is, let's turn your can'ts into cans and your dreams into plans. And yeah, and then at the back, you can also choose um, what you want as inserts. I have tried so many different combinations of these. I hardly use any of the pages. I've only ever used a little bit of the lined pages. Uh, and very recently I used one page of the, the adult colouring in option that you have. So I went very simple again this time. I've got a whole load of simple, just lined pages. And then I chose Sudoku um, because I am obsessed with Sudoku. I love it. Um, but yeah, they had that option. So I was like, why not? If I ever actually use it, who knows? And then I went for the adult colouring in again. Um, I only used one page of it so far, but who knows? Maybe I'll get really bored in an airport or something, have some colouring in, and I can do that. Um, but yeah, that's the diary that I've gone with this year. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to start using it. I've been putting it off till I film this video. But yeah, let's add these little parts to it. So I'll start with inserting this little sheaf. And I always put it at the front, so. And you literally just clip these in here. So. Like so. And then I'm going to stick the stickers in here. Like that. And then on the first page I'll put the ruler and as I said before I actually put it upside down so this is the way it should be um, with this little tip at the bottom however I always flip it so that the tip's at the top so that it just shows at the very top of the diary like so so that when it's closed I've got it there and I can just flip it open nice and easily. Um, I suppose you could do that with having it at the bottom as well but this is just how I've always done it. Um, then this little string. So this you put at the very back. You've got two little holes here and at the bottom. And you just slip it through that. There we go. So then you just have it like that and it keeps it nice and together. Um, the very last thing I just want to show you in this is that somewhere in these pages you always get a fake page. Aha! Fake page. So it looks like it's a misprint and then on the other side, it looks like there's coffee marks, tea marks, whatever you want to, whatever you decide. Um, but this is specifically there for the discount code. So it has this little part saying, whoops, a typo. As compensation, you and your friend will get a bit of a discount. Um, and it's 10% off, that was it. Which basically ends up being £2, so. Um, so is it a code that I can use and then a code that a friend can use. I'll put the code that the friend can use in the description down below. But yeah, that's everything. And I always just, like I said before, rip this out and put it in the front for safekeeping. 
that's the diary. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you next week for another one. Bye.